Hello, welcome to another QA Automan tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to talk about using factories and how they are used in kind of uh, real life situations. Um, it, it occurred to me when someone commented about trying to use um, data across uh, a whole entire class file. Um, so, <clears throat> for example, um, I took my sign up test and I broke it down into kind of like a flow. So right here it has load sign up page and then it will sign up main page, first name field, sign up main page, last name field, and then sign up main page, email, mobile field. And then each is uh, setting text for first name, last name, and then email. Um, obviously these aren't testing anything, it's just doing stuff, but just for the sake of uh, this, um, it's a flow. So you know, you run this, and then this depends on this, and this depends on this, and this depends on... So every, there's a dependency all the way down the line. <clears throat> so the, the issue here is if you have your test set up here and you want to use a data provider, how, how are we going to get that value inside uh, each of these methods? Um, you know, the one way is, you know, you set your data provider and you can have one for first name, have one for last name, have for, and eventually you're just going to have so many different data providers it's going to be out of control. Uh, so we just want one data provider. So let's create our data provider. Um, we're going to do it in data. Uh, I'll put in Facebook data. <clears throat> and this one will be for sign up. So uh, just to speed things up, I'm going to do a copy paste. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll just do a refresher. So, you know, data provider, set the name. This one will be sign up and public static. That's important. Static. It always returns a 2D object array. That's what we're doing. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and let's just return new object array, 2D array. And inside, we're going to have um, all your different data sets. So for this one, for example, we have first name. So we'll say uh, QA. Last name will be Automan. Automan. And then email. Valid email at QAAutoman.com. <clears throat> and then for our second set of data, let's say we're going to do like a empty first name um, and then we'll do uh, this one will be numbers testing numbers or something uh, this one will have just blank blank uh, blank actually that won't be a good <laughs> it's a good test to do but I mean you get the picture you can just keep adding all the different um, all the different types of uh, scenarios, all your use cases, um, all inside this data provider. So we want to use this data and we want to plug it into each one. So there's there's a few ways to do this and I'm going to do this using the uh, factory annotation that TestNG provides. So <clears throat> um, the first thing we're going to do uh, with the factory is we're actually going to create a public uh, we're going to use the constructor. So sign up flow test. And here is where we're going to put the at factory. Um, <clears throat> and so what this will do is you can use this to, uh, you can plug in things like data providers and think, or, or have it initialize other methods um, that it's annotated to. Uh, so in our case, we want to use uh, a data provider, which is Facebook data sign up. So sign up. And remember, we have to set the class as well. So Facebook data dot class. <clears throat> so sign up is actually spitting out three, oops, uh, three strings. So this will get kind of uh, argument heavy, um, but you know, it, it it will help in the long run. So string last and string uh, 
email. Uh, <clears throat> so I think you're going to kind of see how this is going right now. Um, the we want to set these. We can set them into a bunch of variables uh, like sh string first, string last. But um, for me, I'm going to actually create a uh, hash map uh, just to make things a little bit easier for me, so I can pull. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to do a hash map just because it's easier. You can use an array. You can use whatever you feel is easiest for you. You can actually create all the different string, first string, last string. It's whatever. This is more for preference uh, at this point. Um, so sign up map uh, bothers me equals new hash map. You can yell at me. Okay, fine. I'll add the string. <clears throat> so I will say dot put first, and I'll put in first. Actually, I'll just put first name, last name, last, and email, and this will be email. So now I have my signup map that I can kind of put. Um, oops, ooh, ooh. Actually, I'm going to go a step further, and I'm just going to do this and actually initialize it down here. <coughs> there. Okay, so we'll have our map. So when we, if this was going to run, um, it will go to the data provider, pull the first, the, the first set of data, and push it onto this map. Now we have to edit our uh, methods. So we'll do sign up map dot get first name. First name, last name, email. Okay. And um, let's see. I just want to make sure. So we have our factory, which is set to the constructor of this class. And it's going to be pulling from uh, a data provider that's set over here. <clears throat> and actually, I'm going to remove this blank one. And I'm actually going to put uh, like special characters. Um, just so uh, we can see it visually. So we have this set up, so how to run this. Um, so I created a, another test in GXML, uh, test name class, it's set to sign up uh, flow test. Uh, I broke these up, this one's the flow, the other one uh, I have here is the just the one that does everything in one, the huge, huge test class test case <clears throat> so we have our sign up and I've set to flow test so let's let's run it and see what happens so I'm gonna run this and see what um, ends up happening so Facebook oh it opened up a second one oh and opened up a third one One, two, three, four, boom. So it's kind of jumping around, doing each of the, doing each of the test ca test cases. Um, so we ha we we made it halfway, right? It was kind of going to each test and and going to each one. <clears throat> so we're actually going to go a step further, and we don't want to have them all happen like that. We don't want to go load, 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 sign up, sign up, sign up, uh, first, 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 last, 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 email. We, we need an order. So <clears throat> we want to um, 
group by uh, instance. So it's yelling at me right now um, in my XML doc. Uh, for some reason, if I go to this guy right here, um, it says, like I, I looked it up, group by instance is a valid um, parameter. For some reason, it doesn't want to register inside this, um, inside my XML. If anyone has any clue t as to why, please comment down below. Um, so I'm going to actually put this on a test level. It could be sweet or test level. I'm putting it on the test level. And we want to preserve order as well as true. So now what will happen if I run this, it will come here and when the factory gets initialized with the data provider, it will run the each instance of each class um, in the order uh, of the data provider. So, so I'm going to run this one more time, uh, the sign up test, and <clears throat> let's see how it goes. So, oh, open up. Oh, because load page. Yeah, boom, I'll these out. I'm gonna kind of get uh, group by group by instance. True, preserve order true. I'm gonna take a little look see real quick. Um, SMG documentation. Oh, group by instances. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we're going to try it again. Um, this time, I uh, forgot that S. Man. <clears throat> Loading page. Testing first. Testing last. Boom. So did the first set. Now the second set of data. One, two, other uh, numbers. Numbers. And then the email. And the second set. Or the third set, excuse me. It's QA. Auto man. And fat in email. So <clears throat> That's kind of a, a, a cool way to, to get all of your, your test cases that are, that are set into like a flow format and, and be able to just inject data um, so you don't have to rewrite it into something like the way I did it here where you're kind of running everything. Yes, we're testing here just the fact that you can sign up, um, but there's so many scenarios for each of these. I mean, you, you have test cases for each an individual um, element on the page. So now you have the ability to kind of test it all the way through. Um, so that will kind of conclude our uh, tutorial here on factories. Um, so please, please, um, you know, like this. Um, I like to say thank you to everybody who has commented and messaged me and messaged me. Um, you know, I'm trying to help the best I can. Um, I know I only get to one of these maybe every two weeks. And uh, just want to say thank you. Uh, so until then, I'll see you guys online.